So this is Dexter's Game and bring you some more exciting news on Call of Duty World War 2 DLC map pack 2 The War Machine. This one's the first map I'd like to talk about is set in Egypt, which interests me as we never had a Call of Duty map set in Egypt. It should be very good as the scenery should be beautiful. Not Egypt, deserts, pyramids. All as as I'm reading here, there's something for everyone. As all rangers and play staffs have a place to call home here, which is okay for me. I I hate some play styles like sniping and stuff, but this feels like it could work for me. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It just interests me the scenery. Secondly, we have Dunkirk, which is set in northern France, and I'm assuming because Dunkirk is going to be resolved around a lot of beaches and as you can see at right at the bottom of the line seasides if I'm reading correctly here if this news is very true this map features a large open and dangerous beach area flanked by tight interiors through the buildings lining the beachfront blah 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 sniping can be effective the aggress aggressive running and gunning can also pay off there you go guys, that is Dunkirk, if this news is true, from Dexerto. No idea what that is, but okay. Now this one really interests me, it's not because of the setting or how the playstyle works, it's because they labelled this one as V2. Yet the other ones they labelled as Dunkirk and Egypt. Is it World War 2 with the lazy names again? I mean they did call the map pack the War Machine, and the game is called World War 2. Is that just Sledgehammer? Maybe these are actually the correct names, because why do we call them this V2? However, I don't think the name matters too much. All we know here is it's set in Germany, of course. Rural Germany, as I should say. Uh, Ultra-fast-paced map. Sounds okay to me, as long as they do it right. And not like London Docks. I know a lot of you people like it, but I don't really like it. And an opportunity to grab an elevated sightline on unsuspecting opponents. That's what I don't like. It's apparently short to mid range, the, which would be dominant. So hopefully there is no snipers in here. Although they did say you get a good sight line, but however, that doesn't always necessarily mean snipers. This is how much I hate snipers. I have to read the details on a map and hope they don't have snipers in it. I hope it won't be an eligible map to use snipers. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that these are the genuine names of the maps after seeing this. Operation Husky, brackets war for the game mode war. Operation Huskies, whose namesake referred to the Allied invasion of Sicily, is centered on an Allied action to retrieve intelligence on the locations of sensitive German targets in the ports of Palermo and Naples. In this exciting new war mode, offering players, offering players will gather intel, transmit into HQ, and then take to the skies to clear the area of enemy fighter planes in order to make way for allied bombers. Sounds okay to me, we need more war maps. However, adding one every map pack, I guess is okay. But war can get very boring and it is a great game mode. But it has a lot of dullness in it with these maps. There you have it guys, Call of Duty World War 2, the War Machine Pack, DLC Pack 2, April 10th, first on PS4, you know it's legit when Call of Duty put on their background on Twitter. And first on PS4 meaning I have no clue when it comes out for Xbox and PC, so sorry guys. Another thing is, why I'm excited for this is, the Egypt maps got me going. If they if they really make this a good map, easy to play on, I'm going to love it. Because, I know you guys might be thinking, oh what happened in World War 2 in Egypt? Well, in Egypt, not World War II, sorry. Uh, there were a few battles there, I think, between England and Germany. That's about it, that's all I know. However, I just think the scenery is going to be great. It did say you could rush around, which sounds good for me. I like to rush, although I don't like to snipe. And I know we've got other maps like Dunkirk, V2, and the new war map, which I'm happy about. I'm really happy about we getting a new war map. I would like more than one, but I think that's a bit greedy to say, although... I have been lazy with their maps, I do think it's still a bit hard to say. We need more war maps because well, after buying one DLC pack we've still only got four. And they can get a bit repetitive after a while and it's just really dull playing the same thing over and over again. It's, it's hard to see such a great game mode with a lot of dullness in it because of the lack of maps. 
So I'm glad to add another one. I'm really glad about it. Don't have much to say on V2 in Dunkirk. I'm pretty excited about it, but that's about it. I'm not really enjoying World War 2 recently, so yeah. I hope this can freshen it up a bit. Also, there is a new Zombies map, of course. Don't I didn't forget, I just left it to the end because I'm not a big zombie person. I lost my interest after Black Ops 2. So, um, I'm not the right guy to be watching if you want to know about zombie news. I've just completely lost my interest in that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, comment, like. Please do it, please. But yeah, thank you guys. I hope you've been informed of this news. First from me.